You will note that uh, the assemblage of many Masons from both the Grand Lodge of Washington and the Prince Hall Grand Lodge have assembled for a joint opening ceremony. This is a, a first in, uh, in uh, the history of these two lodges where they have joined together and jointly opened uh, their Grand Lodges to participate in this dedication of the Memorial Stone. Following the joint opening of the Grand Lodges at the Walla Walla Masonic Temple, the brethren proceeded to the high school staging area, approximately two miles away, at which time they formed under the direction of the respective Grand Marshals for the parade to the cemetery. cemetery, the ranks opened and the Grand Masters were escorted through the ranks, accompanied by the Grand Lodge officers of both Grand Lodges, and they made their way to the gravesite of William H. Upton and to the place where the memorial marker has been erected. They are now taking their place at the podium to begin the formal ceremony. Oh, we have two. If any of you are in the least bit infirm, uh, please take these seats here. That's what they're for. Uh, one of the tests for being a Mason is to be physically fit, and so we're all standing. <laughs> Welcome to this mm -hmm. memorial ceremony, uh, ladies, gentlemen, <coughs> guests, and brother Masons. We have some uh, very important dignitaries with us uh, today. We'd like to recognize them and hear uh, a few words from them. Uh, the first one I'd like to call on would be uh, our brother Mason. He's a 33rd degree Scottish Rite Mason. I refer to uh, the Honorable Norman Rice, Mayor of Seattle. Where are you? To my brothers and all of us who have gathered today on this historic occasion, each event is one step closer. Each walk and each step brings us closer to a purpose that we all believe in. And there's a commonness of this, brethren in this brotherhood, and I'm happy to be here to march together in unison and hopefully in unity. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now we'd like to hear from uh, Richard Nair. Um, he is the uh, member of the legislature in District 16. Thank you. I was here back in the crowd. It's certainly my pleasure to welcome you to our community of Walla Walla, and this is a very notable occasion. And it was just an honor to have the opportunity to 
forum in front of Walla Walla High School where I spent 20 years as principal and walk up the stage here and walk up the street and to join with our brethren here in our community. Thank you. There are several very uh, noteworthy research societies in masonry and one of the foremost uh, is on the Prince Hall side. It's called the Phylaxis Society. It's a research Masonic society and the president, Brother Joseph A. Walks, is here and we'd like to hear from him. I'm certainly uh, appreciative of being invited up front here to say a few words and I want to thank the Grand Masters, both of them, for allowing me to come in, in from, uh, from Kansas, where I came from, to fly here for this historic occasion. And thank you so very much. We are also uh, pleased to have with us uh, Most Worshipful Brother Hampton Wright, the Grand Master of uh, Prince Hall Masons of Oregon and Jurisdiction. Most Worshipful Brother Wright, can we hear a few right, words from you? I'm right here. <laughs> Uh, Grand Master uh, Case and Grand Master Lundford, uh, it's, it's more than an honor for me to come up and uh, take part in this momentous uh, ceremony. We are uh, following the ball that you started rolling here. We're starting this ball to roll in, in the jurisdiction of Oregon. And I'll assure you, I will keep bouncing the ball. Uh, we, we, we have uh, committees in place with the uh, Grand Master Drew of the state of uh, Idaho. We've had representation from the Grand Lodge of Montana. And I heard a few comments about uh, the Grand Lodge of Oregon. But I will bounce the ball in all the states, and thank you very much. Next one, I would like to uh, recognize our uh, two members of the uh, Interfraternal uh, Dialogue Committee. They have another name, but I don't recall what it is, and it really doesn't matter. It's a, a committee from each side, the Washington side and the Prince Hall side, who have been meeting uh, regularly for the last four years and increasingly so the last two years. And the first one I'd like to hear from is uh, the chairman of our committee, Most Worshipful Brother James O. Wood. Well, thank you very much, Grand Master. And it is a very great uh, privilege uh, for the last two years to have our, our structured committees in place. Uh, most people here know, and for those who aren't aware, uh, the result of our committee last year uh, resulted in the recognition of each other so that we can uh, openly call each other brethren and visit in our respective lodges. And this, of course, is a very great thrill. Now, my uh, co-worker and the co-chairman, we're the Committee on Recognition and Conciliation. And now we're the working on this committee to, uh, that's involved in the dedication of this wonderful stone to the memory of a most worshipful brother, William H. Upton, who 92 years ago started this. It was derailed temporarily. But uh, after this short intervening period of 92 years, uh, <laughs> we're back on track, and uh, we're so delighted there. And, of course, members of his family are, are present, and our Grand Master will recognize them. And now I'd like to call on my counterpart, uh, Most Worshipful Brother uh, James W. Davis, who is a past Grand Master of the Prince Hall Grand Lodge of Washington, also the Sovereign Grand Inspector General of the Consistories of Washington of the Scottish Rite Bodies, and he will introduce uh, the members of uh, his cast. 